Okay, here we are in InDesign again. We're going to create that shape that's behind the diamond here. Um, there's probably more than one way to do it, but I, I'm just going to get the pen tool over here. Click and kind of drag, click again, and then keep it clicked down and drag out my anchor point um, and create a curve. And then I'm going to push shift and click on that button and click on this again and then click on the other side and actually create a kind of a nice curve here as well. So something along those lines. I know it looks a little rough right now, but so if we swap the fill color, well, there's nothing in the fill and the stroke is currently black, as you can see on the shape and over here in the tools panel, but if we swap those, we can kind of fill that in. If we push W, um, and, and we can do object, arrange, send to back, that'll actually come below our shape. It's not too bad. I can kind of maybe bring it in a little bit too. I think that looks about, a little bit better. Command C, Command V, object, transform, um, flip horizontal so that we can get kind of a mirror image going. And so I think we can just kind of uh, kind of line it up um, right down the center, object, send it back. So that's along the lines of what I was wanting. It's not perfect. Um, you know, I can adjust these shapes by um, pushing here and, and kind of, um, you know, and if I adjust one, then I'm probably going to have to replace it. But for now, I guess it's not the exact shape, so I, I wanted something a little bit more elegant. Sometimes, oops, I opened the wrong thing here. Sometimes the, uh, sometimes that's kind of hard to achieve. Um, you know, if I took my time, I could definitely, um, fix these curves in such a way that I was really happy with it. But like currently I'm not super stoked about um, about the way it's looking. It's not really exactly what I had in mind. Maybe something a little bit more like that. I mean, it's pretty, it's a subtle thing, so it's kind of hard to get. I'm just going to delete that one and try with this one. Command C, Command V, Object, Transform. Okay, let's line these up a little bit here. Object, arrange, sent to back. So there we go. I mean, that's a little closer to what I was wanting. It's not too bad. So right now we have like a really symmetrical design going. Um, so I'm just going to do a file, save as. We need to save this into our InDesign poster banner project. So, uh, 350 GDSN 350 um, poster um, and then 11 by 17 underscore CMYK and it's going to be in CMYK or full color or whatever FC whatever you want to do um, save so there we go. We kind of got the first um, first little bit here. And then we were going to bring in that photo of the bear paws on the top here. So let's go ahead and do that. Command D, uh, which is, you could do file place as well. Um, so I think this is the photo. And there's a different way of, you can go to icons and look at stuff. And it gives you a little bit better idea. So open, click that in. This is a Steve Helmbrecht photo. I really would not use this in real life on a real project because that's stealing.
but it's a nice photo, so I'm going to go ahead and use it on this project. Size it down as much as I possibly can, because I know, with, I do know that uh, it's going to be a little bit low resolution, so you don't want to make it too big. But if you go to your info tab, go go to your direct select tool, click on it, get that red box going over that image, and it'll give you your effective PT, PPI, which is pretty low on this image. I mean, that's really low. Um, I can still make it smaller. Like, I can make it as small as I possibly can, and then we'll look at it. It's still going to be too low, but obviously the images that you guys are using are going to be high resolution. I'm just going to th say 300 over there. Um, so there we go. There's that. That looks pretty good. We could even put the, we could bring these together using the, like, just so that you guys can see it better, I'll, I'll bring it to the front. So I push shift and I selected both, um, both of these things here. Um, so shift, click, so you get both of them. Hold shift down and get both of them selected. Then let's go to Pathfinder and join them together. So that's one big shape now. It's a little bit less messy to deal with. Object arrange, send backward. Object arrange, send backward. So there's that. Our photo needs to be brought up a little bit so we don't see it. So there's kind of the first half of the um, poster idea. So if I do a command D or file place, we can bring in this photo of, of this uh, buffalo herd, or maybe I should be using this. Oh yeah, and we wanted to put Cowan Hall in here, which, oh boy, we had a hard time finding a decent image of Cowan Hall. Or this is even down, this is Donaldson Hall, so it's not even the right building, but for sake of, it's not going to work at all. It's going to be super pixelated, but, um, and I can show you how terrible it's going to be by all of these images that are really not, this is 132, this is 145, and this one is 59, so they're all pretty terrible. But object, arrange, send to back. Um, and this could be clipped out. I mean, I could open this in Photoshop and clip out, and it would become white. You know, I could clip out this gray and put a color behind it, and that might be kind of neat. Um, I don't think I'm going to, but... Um, I think Donaldson Hall is the oldest building on campus, so... Um, it's definitely a do public domain image, but... Anyway, so I'm not, I don't know if I really like the black anymore. I mean, we might be better off changing the color of that. I mean, maybe we want it to be, you know, who knows what color. I mean, I could make it pink like the star is or whatever. Or it could be white. You know, we could make it white. White's always safe. Zero, tab, zero, tab, zero, tab, zero. Okay, and it'd be nice if this Donaldson Hall was not in black and white, but we could also add an effect around this. We could do object, effects, outer glow. We could put a glow on it. Um, I usually put it on normal, and then I usually pick like a... Um, I don't know. And we want to preview it so we can look at it. We can change the size of it. That actually looks sort of neat. And we can change the opacity, we can make it all the way, which I actually think that maybe it looks a little bit better toned down. We can change the color of that glow too. It looks really nice on this green. On, on Donaldson Hall, it looks almost a little bit maybe on the cheesy side, but. Um, Oh, that's not too bad. I would say Command A to select everything. I'm going to shift everything down, push W, and I might do a Command C V on this bear paw image, and I might do an object flip 
flip vertical. And I might just do a little trick that I learned somewhere along the way of kind of creating a little bit more photo. It might work, it might not. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, depending on the photo. But So it's kind of, it creates a little bit more blank space to work with. Because if I want a title up here, it's not going to work to have the title over the mountains. It'd be nice to just have the title in kind of a blank piece of sky. And this photo, unfortunately, doesn't have that much. I mean, if you look at it, it doesn't have that much sky in it. But if I just duplicate it and line up the edges, it just kind of becomes this weird kind of kind of op optical illusion um, in some ways. And it gives me quite a bit more sky to work with. And it kind of goes with the style of the poster, too, because it's... I don't really know if I'm loving, loving this Donaldson Hall. I mean, I think it's actually really pretty lame, but maybe I can. Well, and I wanted to fit in that buffalo herd image um, as well. So. Maybe we'll just delete that because it's not really working. I was going to clip out the sky in this and kind of... This one, actually, I thought that I had managed to get a high-resolution image with this one. But we need to click on our... and click on that and then... Oh, no, it's not really... It's 159 DPI, which is not that good, but... Of course, you guys are going to be using wonderful images. Um, that doesn't really actually go as well with Haver theme as I hoped. I mean, it might make more sense to have a train in there somewhere. Um, and then have Cowan Hall like we originally had planned. I'd have to clip this out to use it. And I'm sure it's low resolution as well. It's 200, which actually is better than the other one, everything else. Um, but anyway. Let's just make this come up a little bit more. And we can start adding our font to the top anyway here. And I might have to put a color screen over. I don't remember. So I I use the text tool. I drag the box on. I I wrote. Now I'm making. If I go to the grade uh, the the character box. You can change the text size here or wait here. Um, I think I'm going to change, let's see, change the font. Let's just use like a, eh, I don't know. I'm not a huge Arial fan, but probably just going to use more of a modern font to kind of match my, uh, modern design. Let's see, window. Um, I want to get the paragraph in here so that I can center this. Uh, I'll just add that to my character window. So anyway, that's a decent start. This might have to be white as well. Do that really quick before we move on to our next video.